How's it going everyone? This is C4. Today I'm going to show you how to set up your own private TeamSpeak server. For this, you'll... Well, basically all you need is a computer and access to your router. So, let's get started. You have to download, well, of course, TeamSpeak. I'm going to use TeamSpeak version 3 for this tutorial because that's the one I use myself. Of course, you go into Downloads, find TC3 Client then download the one that's applicable for your device. That's downloading. You can go back, click the server button and download, well, again, whichever version is applicable for you. I am using a 64-bit version of Windows, so that's what I'm going to install. Then, show in folder. For the server, I recommend putting this folder onto your desktop. I believe this is useful because at least you'll know where it is and it won't be at risk of getting deleted if you clear out your downloads folder. And as for the application, you just run the installer as usual. After downloading is completed, you may start the TeamSpeak 3 client if you wish. This, however, is not necessary for what we're doing. The next step is to open the server files which you have just downloaded and click TeamSpeak 3 server. This starts up your server. If you're running this to have local voice communications, which are a bit stupid to me, this is all you need. Do jot down all of these codes. What I'm going to do is take a screenshot and close it. Now the screenshot is saved somewhere on the computer or actually you can open paint. You can open paint. I think we won't be opening paint, but what you can do uh, there we go. Open paint and copy paste the image. Then save it to wherever you wish. I'm going to save it to desktop. Afterwards, if you just want to have a local host, you are basically now finished. To connect, you should open command prompt and type in ipconfig. You're gonna want to find your IPv4 address if it's local. Then copy it, go to TeamSpeak 3 and either connect to it or make a bookmark. What I recommend is making a bookmark for easy access. I accidentally started editing this, so I'm going to click cancel and try to do that again. There. Now click apply and OK. Then you can click on bookmarks, then whatever the name is that you put for your server. Connected. And you are connected. Now it will ask you for a privilege key. You don't have to do this each time. Oh, for fuck's sake, you won't have to do this each time, so just type it out once. You can also save this to a text file, but, oh well, I wanted a challenge today. There, once you have entered your key, this key is no longer applicable, because they are one use, they have only one use, so you can redact it or delete that part. After using it, you have full administrator control of your server. If it is necessary, I will make another video showing you how to change things around your server. But now, I assume you probably want a TeamSpeak server to talk with your friends via the internet. For that, it gets a bit tricky. You need to do port forwarding. So, you need to open your internet browser and enter your router's IP address. That is most usually 192.168.0.1. Uh, I don't want uh, Microsoft, I want to browse, you know, I, I like that. Okay, we have to open another browser because uh, Edge kind of sucks. Now, you very likely have another router, but if you have a Technicolor router from 2013, what you need to do is click on the advanced button and find forwarding. Now, for what worked for me was to type both in my uh, oops, my IPv4 address and my IPv6 address. I have blurred the ends of these and just left these numbers, but that's the gist of it. You can find those numbers here. To make one, you just click the create IPv4 or create IPv6. I'm going to do create IPv6. Now, ignore the known rule adder. This is for presets, which unfortunately I checked doesn't include TeamSpeak, so I'm going to copy my IPv6 address and then copy it into local IP address here. Then for the end, for the ports, you need to enter 9987. 
and this is the same for the exit port I987. This is TeamSpeak's default voice communications port. For protocol, you need to change it to UDP and of course enable to on. Now because of course this is a virtual machine, I have high belief that it won't do shit if I apply it, but for you, if you're running this on your computer, you most certainly want to click apply. Afterwards, to help your friends get connected, you can either send them your IP address, which may come off as a little bit long, but if they're using copy paste, they should be fine. Or you can use TeamSpeak's invite a buddy link, which gives you either a TC3 server link, a HTTP redirection, which is a internet uh, link, or HTML code, which, well, this is to put on your server, uh, I mean, internet page. I believe HTTP redirection is sufficient. And yes, that would be just about it. I have shown you how to set up your own personal TeamSpeak server. Uh, TeamSpeak is a very versatile program and a very efficient program. So if you're running on a slower computer, which cannot handle Discord very well, I recommend that you look into using TeamSpeak. It has I believe very similar audio quality if that's a concern, however it lacks video transmitting, however that is a feature in TeamSpeak 6. Thank you for watching, see you soon.